What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Zaynomics Gaming. Today is the beginning of the second week of Season of the Splicer and with that comes the Iron Banner. Some new loot was introduced with that and I just wanted to go over the last word exotic hand cannon. This weapon may make your time inside of the Iron Banner a little less stressful. During Season of Arrivals, Hipfire Grip received a buff and it also received another buff this season. Now for those of you who didn't know, the last word fires at 225 rounds per minute. It's a hip fire machine. Damage fall off happens around 19 meters, 18 and a half meters, somewhere in that neighborhood. So you'll want to play aggressive with this weapon. You have to have situational awareness and understand that you may need to flee the area, live to fight another day, so to speak. With the past two buffs to hip fire grip, the last word has become so sticky. It feels great getting those crit shots while firing from the hip. Now the buff was to hip fire grip itself. Dead Man's Tail does not have hip fire grip, so it doesn't benefit from these changes. All weapons containing hip fire grip do, and the last word has that perk. To benefit with this weapon, you will only want to fire from the hip. If you watch my top 5 hand cannon video, you'll know that the last word was tied for first place at the time for me personally. So if you're an aggressive player, definitely give it a go. It's even better than before. If you've never liked the last word before, try it out now and see how it feels for you. Nothing is more satisfying than hip firing an opponent that's rushing you. I obtained the last word from the draw quest. You can purchase the last word in the exotic kiosk at the tower. Now most notably, if you're playing on a bigger map and you play more passively rather than aggressively, you'll probably want to pair the last word with a sniper rifle or some form of scout rifle, that way you have some range and some distance. Remember, the last word is meant for close quarters engagements, so if somebody's rushing you, you'll more than likely get the kill on them, unless they're just really experienced with using a shotgun or they're using a slug shotgun or something like that. But if you see them first and you could pop that first shot off, you will normally get them, more than likely. Now, if you're playing on a smaller map, last word, paired with the shotgun, fell winners lie. I mean, that's the duo, that's what you need. Fell winners lie, the last word, and that will, that will help you be more successful in those close quarter engagements. Not to say that you can't use any other weapons, it's just the last word paired with Phil Winter's Lie is a little bit more forgiving. But at the end of the day, you want to use what's comfortable for you. I just recommend using the last word because in Iron Banner you get a lot of people rushing up on you. And in that scenario, personally, you need to eliminate the threat as soon as possible because you know in Iron Banner, everybody travels as a pack more so than in regular playlists like Control or Clash. Inside of Iron Banner, everybody's working together. Now, I hope this new buff really helps you guys out and it gives you an opportunity to try out the last word. That's all I have for right now. Good luck hunting those new Iron Banner rolls. I will see you all in the next video. Keep your eyes open for the review of those new Iron Banner videos and I will personally tell you what god rolls you need to look for. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.